Alrighty, hi. Hi. Hi, welcome back hi. to DR2 with the bun bun. Mm -hmm. Veggie okay, what's is my here. Name? What's, what's my name? Uh, bun bun, that's your name. No, remember, remember what you said uh, earlier? Princess okay. in a bun. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, honey is princess in a bun. Where's King Onion? Uh, I am King Onion. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are you doing at this place? Yeah, I kind of stopped at a weird spot, but yeah, here we are. <laughs> Context? Um, so we went with Soda to the bar because he wants to, you know, spy on chicks because he's a weirdo. And, uh, Wait, really? Yeah, and now Ibuki is here, and she's uh, like, hey, what y'all doing? That's a strange combo. Uh, hello, um, today is another wonderful day. Well, you're not gonna get away now that I've caught you. I feel so nervous, I ended up blurting out something weird. Please don't hate me. I'll take the punishment as much as you like. Ah, uh, you too. This is such a coincidence. Uh, never expected to coincidentally run into you guys here. He really does suck at this. Man, actually, Hajime and I were about to head to the beach together. Huh? Could that be what you ladies are here for? That's such a coincidence. It even seems like destiny. Something's obviously suspicious. Your eyes are moving around like salmon before they lay eggs. No way, I'm always like this. Uh, how should I put it? I always pay attention to my surroundings. I can't keep watching this. Veggie's so, so whiny, as always. <laughs> as oh, I sighed and looked boy. away from that embarrassing sight, I realized that he had disappeared. Huh? Where did Fuyuhiko go? Veggie, you, you're embarrassing. What? Why me? Because you're so... Oh yay. Mm -hmm. Well, regardless, you two have arrived pretty early. It's only 3.30 p.m. <laughs> you still have about 30 minutes until you meet the others. Um, why do you know we're going to meet up with the others? And do you even know our damn meeting time? Well, you see... Anyway, let's cherish the coincidence that brought us together. So is it okay if we join in two? I got forceful all of a sudden. So that's not your ultra motive. You're probably here for Sonya, aren't ya? I really have no desire to do something to me. I declined the offer at all. But Sonya was the one she planted on the beach, so we need to ask her. Then it's all good. It's too devastating to think Miss Sonya would decline, so I just won't think it. Is he being an optimist or a pessimist? I don't really get it. Obviously, I'm a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> so, why did we go inside me? It would be was gonna eat a good meal first, that's why I came really. Sure thing, let's wait inside. I can't take my mind off Uihiko. Oh well, I've come this far, I can't turn back now. And it's the same. And I remind it's on its stomach. Well, swimmers can always push around on their stomachs too. I'm gonna really eat a hamburger with a side of rice. Oh, that's honey. That like me. Very, that's very me. much honey. That's me. Is rice a side dish? Wait, is there even rice here? There Excuse better be. Excuse me with me. A side dish is a main dish, a side dish, dessert. At lunch, breakfast, <laughs> any freaking thing. What do you mean? Mio, I always say something stupid when I get nervous. I'm not doing it on purpose. Yeah, that's um, me. I also so, do. should we go to the diner then, or what? Veggie, did you not read the conversation? Yeah, I mean, you never know. There might be some fluff dialogue. I mean, fluff dialogue, are you stupid? I returned to the diner and sat myself at the table near the window once again. <sighs> Without thinking, I couldn't help letting out a big sigh. Oh, what are you guys do gonna do about your swimsuits? You're allowed to change in that beach house, you know? Yes, 
That's why we're already wearing them. What's underneath is uniforms and panties? It's a swimsuit. Well, that's obvious. I also came wearing a swimsuit, too. Ah, oh, really? Which reminds me, you're not wearing yours yet, huh? Then you gotta go to the bathroom so you can change. Here you go, this is yours. What is this thing? Did he pull out that tongue? <laughs> what is that? What is that? He really told me to say this, but... That looks a little too scary. What if something falls out? If this is airing live, you're totally gonna get censored by the network. Yeah, I gotta need a Fox News version of this. Don't worry. Even at its worst, it won't turn into a live-action drama. That's not the problem. What is it, then? Are you telling me you don't want to match with me? It's match? matching? Then I definitely <laughs> don't want to wear it. That's so silly. <laughs> that is so silly. Benji, can we match swimsuit, please? Mm, how would that even work? Okay, so basically I follow this designer on Instagram and she makes mushroom swimsuits and she made this uh, mushroom swimsuit so I will have this like fluffy mushroom themed swimsuit and you will have like mushroom themed trunks so we would Ooh, match. Okay, I like that sound. Oh, so cute. Yay. Do you even like mushrooms? Mm, as a food or what? <laughs> Cause I like mushrooms on my pizza. In general? You in in like general, mushrooms? yeah. Oh my goodness. I wanted to drink more, but I just feel only sour in my freaking throat. Oh, ew. Oops, all sour. Veggie <laughs> shot. Veggie shot. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> At least it's gonna force me to talk because I can't handle. Uh, uh, really hiding it bad, so let's stop. Things are heating up something fierce, and everyone's gonna come out. I hope they come soon. As she said that, Buki peeked out the window. Huh? What is it? Look outside! Outside! What's outside? D Isn't that Hyoko? Jeez, don't get my hopes up. I thought it was Miss Sonia. Doesn't she seem a little strange? If I had to describe it as a Sonia title, it'd be Sprint of Tears. Huh? It looks like she's running from the beach. Did something happen? Despite our questions, Yoko ran by the front of the diner at full speed. She totally ran past us, but wasn't she part of the beach crew? Apparently, uh, she can't swim, so she turned us down. <laughs> what, is she gonna need Mahiro to teach her how to swim next? <laughs> Probably. But she... didn't she come running from the beach? I'm sorry, I don't really know all the details about that. Well, it just means women are full of surprises. Mikey was the type to totally come, but she surprisingly turned us down too. Mayero? She did? She turned it down? It's so unexpected of her not to join an event like this. In fact, she totally planned this sort of thing. It can be helped. Apparently, she wasn't really feeling well. Um, I'm terribly sorry to continue the story, but why was Yoko crying? Why are you asking us? But you stop being so stupid. But if she was literally... sprinting away from the beach and crying, something's definitely wrong. Uh, hey. Soda, Soda freaking was like, oh, wasn't she not included in the beach crew? Then why was she coming out from the beach? Like, that's the same type of question. <laughs> like, what? Where'd you get here so suddenly? Kaz suddenly shouted, and what he was looking at was near th the diner's entrance. As I turned around... Oh, oh it's oh, me! Oh, it was Jaime! Hi, my, how disappointing. I thought if I came earlier, I'd be the first one to arrive. 
I couldn't keep myself from staring like an idiot. See, that's just so, so base <laughs> of veggie. Veggie would just stare at Bon Bon. Very based veggie. Whoa, Kiaki, you came wearing only your swimsuit? I didn't want to carry it with me. If I did, it'd be a serious burden. Yeah, that sounds like me. That is so... <laughs> serious burden? That's a total exaggeration. Yeah, that is me. <laughs> but even though you didn't want to carry anything, it looks like you're carrying something. Instead of bringing lunch for everyone, I brought ice cream. Oh, that's very fun. Bun loves ice cream. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... It's not like I'm gonna turn it down, but... Ice cream is so completely different from lunch. I don't think it can be used as a substitute. Also, I think... I was thinking of stuff we could all do at the feast together. So, I brought a board game too. You know what I would bring? I would bring uh, Uno. <laughs> I love mm -hmm. Uno. Uno? Yeah. You know how to play Uno? Mm, I haven't played in like 15 years, so I might need to learn how again. Okay, I am an expert. I always win every single Uno game. <laughs> hey. Oh, I'm gonna teach you, okay? Aw, oh, sure. And then you're gonna be as good as me, sweetheart. Mm. So you can beat everyone else. Oh, yes, yeah, so let's beat everyone. But not me. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> Mwah. Wifey number one. Mm hmm. Uh, hobby number two. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Well, I love you, okay? I love you too. Hmm. Should we play even though we came all this way to the go to the beach? Nah. Um, I see. That's disappointing. Yeah, I would be disappointed too. <laughs> but how should I say this? Is this what Gat Moe is supposed to be? For someone normally so quiet to wear such a daring swimsuit makes a little excited, right Hajime? Well, um, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I, I said, don't. but my heartbeat was actually getting faster and faster. But she is so close, <laughs> she was. Seriously, man, I never expected Chiaki to have such a huge jugs. Look, well, they animated. Drew a sprite just for this moment. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a swimsuit like that, I will then. You're gonna be happy, Veggie. Honey is gonna recreate the Chiaki moment. Well, you better not talk about me inappropriately then. I mean, obviously I okay. won't. Okay? <laughs> okay, what are you gonna say then? Um. Well, definitely not that. <laughs> Okay, what are you going to say? Mmm... I don't know. I'll think about it. Veggie, say it. Well, I'm thinking. <laughs> say it no. Um... I don't know. <laughs> Veggie. Veggie. <laughs> you ready to go to the beach, honey? <laughs> Dum -dum. What? Come on. Be serious now. Well, I mean, I don't really. Oh. You look nice, honey. What else should I say? <laughs> <laughs> you want the slap or something? No. Yeah. No. We're not being honest. What were you doing? I know that one. What you gonna say? Honey. Honey. What are you gonna say? I don't know. Leave me alone. I don't know. <laughs> Then she said, leave me. Okay, <laughs> bye. <laughs> no, no, you come back, honey. I'm, I'm ignoring. <laughs> then you said, leave me alone. No, I'm not talking to you. No, come back, wifey. Shush, I'm not talking to you. Wah. You said, leave me alone. Baby. Oh, honey. Wah. I'm not talking to you. Okay, I'm <laughs> gonna make a lot of noise. Wah, wah. Okay, try. You can. Wah. You're getting my attention. Honey, honey, listen. Uh-uh. Oh. Listen to Veggie. What? Love you. What do you want? Love you too. Hey. What do you want? Mm, yeah, you know, just want to cuddle. We, we, we can. Hey, cuddle please. Cuddle. Okay, but you're gonna be nice? 
Yeah. I mean, you are nice, but I'm always what nice. Would you say? Hmm? What would you say? Mm, I would say, honey slays the fit. <laughs> dumb dumb. <laughs> what? Dumb dumb stop. But you always You're say so that. Silly. No, no, I don't say that all the time. Well, I uh, I got inspired by Bun to say that. Okay, cute. I like Yay. it. But Adrian, oh, you're so gorgeous, man, beautiful princess. I love you the most. Like you. Oh, yes, you're you a very know. gorgeous princess, Wifey. And you like you're the, st the most stunning person I've ever seen. Something like that, Dum Dum. Yeah, you are very stunning. But this is the most? Yeah, the most stunning. I've ever seen? Mm-hmm. Th that you've ever seen, right? Yeah. Huh? Th that's what you should say, huh? Not, I yeah. slay the fit you, <laughs> You know Veggie Veggie. likes to be goofy. But I want honesty over goofiness okay. sometimes. Alright, alright, you get that then. Very, very good. You can be goofy all the time. I don't know, in normal occasions, but when I wanna you know, expect a serious reaction compliment, I want to see that, you know? Okay, love. You can tell? One, yeah. one? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, fast, fast, you good. Yay. I will say veggie is very deep. Oh, thank you, hon. Uh, and I will hug you. Yay. And, and we could go swimming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like swimming. Me, me too, I love swimming. Yeah. I didn't say that just now, it was Hajime. He's a pervert, you know. What are you saying? I mean, I only have eyes for Miss Sonia. I have dreamed of going out with a blonde lady ever since I was a kid. Um... The size is a little small, but this was the only swimsuit that fit me. I don't look good in it. Huh? Well, no, I guess you look good. You guess? Bro Veggie. isn't honest with his feelings, apparently. Veggie. What? If you said, I guess, I would <laughs> cry. I would not say I guess. That sounds like a veggie response. I, I'm one line. But I'm gonna ask, oh boy, I'm gonna... I mean, I guess you're fine. I was fine. Like, what kind of response is that? No, I wouldn't say that. I hope you don't, because you you understand why it's wrong, right? It's very rude. Very good. I taught you right. You don't say I yeah, guess to a girl. <laughs> you mm -hmm. don't say that. Then I'm glad, I guess. <laughs> wearing a bikini is super daring. Then you get the bonus by for wearing a white one. I mean, to be honest, I think the, it would be worse if she wore a black one. Mm, what's wrong with black? More, uh, hold on. Well, uh, more noticeable. Because if you wear white one, it won't be go. It won't be see as see through. So if you wear like a white shirt. And you have black black bikini under it, of course it's gonna be see-through, you know? But if you wear a white bikini, it won't, you know, be as noticeable, you know what I mean? That's pretty smart. Honey, that's a basic rule. You never wear freaking black lingerie under a white shirt. Basic knowledge. Alright, I got you. Or red. I need freaking strong colors, you know? My heart's not just dumping, it's dumping all sporadically like ba dum 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 ba dum It's probably a heart attack. Hey, I kept uh, waiting. I heard a voice as the diner slowly opened and the person who walked through it was... What the hell? Why is she covered in blood? <laughs> hey, sorry to keep you guys waiting. What happened to you? 
What? Is something wrong? I made sure to wear a swimsuit this time. Not that! Your wounds! Hey, wouldn't it be strange if we nicknamed you Carrie right now? Uh, that will be strange. I don't know what that means. You don't know? No. You haven't watched the movie Carrie Dumb. Oh, yeah, I guess not. I don't think it's a movie for you. It's a horror movie. Mm. It's a it's a pretty pretty good one, but it's kind of messed up. I prefer psychological horror. Me too. It's my favorite kind, but I watched it and I really liked that one. You know. Oh, good. It is it is kind of psychological, but there was this one scene where she literally pours blood in the freaking hallway at school or gym or something. I don't know. There was some, some gross scene anyway. Yeah. I mean, the movie is good though. Well, great. Maybe, maybe you should watch it. Honey. Okay. You hear that? Mm hmm, I hear you. Wait, you gonna watch it? Hmm, maybe. Okay. Oh, you're talking about these. Uh, on my way over here, I happened to run into Coach Nekomaru. And when that happens, I gotta fight him, you know? Why does she have to do that? I, I am really alright. Your head looks like it's split in half. What are happened to friendly sparring? Uh, well, it'll heal as long as I rub some spin in it, right? You're totally playing up the power of human spit. Hehe, <laughs> I'm all fired up now. I never knew such a strong opponent ever existed. What? You need to be treated, and you also need your wounds sterilized. Okay, please come with me. But that aren't usually forceful to me or me come pull the Connie into the bathroom. That's why she's the ultimate nurse. Well, it's gonna be okay if we leave it to her. What is all this ruckus? Ooh, who is it this time? Oh. <laughs> she looks she looks good in long hair, but I prefer her not natural tied up hair. Uh, I like braids better think? on her. Yeah, me too. Hmm? Hajime and Kazuchi, why are you two here? Hey, aren't you breathing pretty heavily? I just did a little swimming. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the fan service episode today, but alright. A little swimming. Honey, why, why you say that? That is fan service. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, okay? Why, why you you don't like it or something? <laughs> um, feels a little bit out of place, honestly. It is. Out of I, place. I don't I don't like shoehorned fan service just for the sake of it being there. Actually, I don't Me like either. fan service in general. Very good. I I I hope you do, don't feel comfortable watching all this. I don't. <laughs> is it because I'm beside you, or is it because? in general. Yeah, just in general. So if you were alone, you wouldn't like it either? Nope. Okay, that's good. That's good. I mean... This game, in general, has a bit more fan service, but when I read into it, it makes more sense. I mean, this particular scene makes sense... I mean, less less i mean <laughs> obviously they're on an island okay yeah but so the being a weirdo creep is kind of um <laughs> yeah and i mean having to deal with multiple weirdos in the same game is kind of wild no i don't like that it makes things interesting well you like perverts in these games <laughs> Yeah, because it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know perverts could be interesting. 
I I hate them, but they're interesting, you know? Okay, so like it's a kind of you love to hate them kind of thing? Yeah. Fun. Fun. Yeah, why you I can't tell you. I can tell you that the meat can service is for our purpose, unfortunately. Oh no. Yep. Mm, poor meat can. That's the sad part. Yep. I mean, I'll tell you why later in this game because it will kind of be a conclusion ah. in some some time, but I can't tell you why right now or in general, but. You know, okay. You'll, you'll get it. Because if I told you no, and if I if you saw something in the future, you would ask a lot of questions. But if I just told you at once everything, you would understand everything. So. Mm hmm. I swam around the island for about three hours. That's too obvious for me not to comment on. That's definitely not a little swimming. Why are you already swimming? You guys are about to swim now, right? Isn't that why you're all meeting up? It wasn't for my enjoyment. I was trying to see if I could swim to a different island. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if someone would try and do that eventually. Huh? Yeah, she's smart, honestly. That is smart. I would, I would do something similar. But I couldn't find any other islands. It seems it may be difficult to leave this island by swimming. Man, this is like some Truman Show shit right here. <laughs> Try nice. If you didn't see anything after you swam for three hours, it's more than difficult. It's impossible. Yeah, that may be true. <laughs> Side view <laughs> causes it his uh, persona character now. <laughs> oh no. Hey, Hajime. Ah, uh, what? A woman with wet, slick back hair is pretty fine too, huh? I'm this body too, man. Young ladies are sure well and those nowadays. Is that the challenge against all the women in the world? Fine, and Mookie accepts that challenge with the power of technology. Time to pop these puppies from full of silicon. Don't say such a sharing things. Anyways, looks like everyone's almost here. And it's already past 4 p.m. If so, all really? that's left. Uh, I am terribly sorry for my delay. Oh, Miss Sonia's here. He's doubled down in excitement. Alright, oh, no. what kind of sexy swimsuit is Miss Sonia wearing? Oh. <laughs> She's wearing like... Fucking um... I forgot what her name is. The fucking chick from uh... Um... I forgot what the name of the anime is. You know what Veggie. I'm talking about, right? <laughs> no. No? no? Ugh. It's a wetsuit! Is that key? I think so? Okay, what are you talking about? Um... Oh yeah, My Hero Academia. That's what I'm yeah, talking Uzaki. about. Yeah, Uzaki. Yeah. That's my name. I mean... To be honest, he's the probably most normal one. Mm-hmm. Because... I love full body suits, you know that? I don't know. Like, I will buy a two-piece again. Because I'm bored, mm -hmm. but you know, full piece oh, on the way. But like, <gasps> you know, I forgot the name. But you know how uh, religious people you know the kind that wear uh, hijabs and all that. You know, I forgot their name. Religion. What's the religion called? Honey, mm. what's the religion called? I don't know. You know religion better than me. I know, but I forgot the name. I feel so stupid. I'm not sure. I don't know any religions. What do you mean? I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, Islam. That's one of them. 
Well, uh, basically them, uh, they have to wear this specific swimsuit. It's like, I know... There's also a, a swim dress, which I wanna buy, too. It's basically mm -hmm. a dress, but it's also a swimsuit at once. It's the most glorious thing I've ever seen. Well, that sounds pretty handy. Uh, it is handy. But they have to wear full body covered swimsuits like this one. Ah. Oh. Yeah, because you know, their religion. But it has a specific, a specific name, but I forgot the name, I'm sorry. But it just reminds me of that. It's okay, I probably wouldn't know anyway. Also, why don't they have any, like, religious, you know, people in this game? Like, where is the ultimate freaking priest or ultimate nun? Like, that was, that would be cool. I want my, why, why don't we have that? Hmm, guess we're saving that for a different game. <laughs> like what? There's no DR4. I mean, there's Master Detective Raincode. I don't know what's in that game, but it is made by the same Raincode. team. Raincode! People, people like Raincode, but it's so damn forgettable, I swear. I, I would, I was meant to play, but I forgot about the existence. Well, then, uh, what about that other Spike Chinsoft game that they announced in that direct, like, a while back? That one where you're in, I like, don't... you're in, like, a bunker or whatever? Yeah, that looks, that looks, that is just Dior, I have this point. Yeah, you uh, can maybe play that. Yeah. But I wanna see a brain pose if it's worth playing, then I'll get it instead of the Zelda game. Mm -hmm. um, is it, is it on the Switch? Should be. Okay. If not, it's on okay. Steam. Okay, I'll check it out then. And to prevent sunburn, I do not want my skin to be the sun damaged. However, as I have never worn a wetsuit before, I had a hard time putting it on, which resulted in my delay. Really, it is my bad. I see, a wetsuit. Well, Miss Sonia does have beautiful white skin, but that tight outfit of hers is amazing. Just what I expect from 100% purebred princess. This guy is quick to recover. Um, anyway, why are you two here? That sprite's cute, actually. It is cute. I'll answer that, Miss Sonia. I'll be honest, if you're gonna go to the beach, Please let us come with you. Oh well, this was originally supposed to be our girls only uh, outing to strengthen our friendship with each other. Do you think you can an exception, pretty please? Well, it's okay. It's not like they be any problems, even if there are some boys. Well, you're right. If they came all the way here, it would be bad if we made them leave. Um, more chances to strengthen friendships, I'd say. Ugh, yeah. Miss Sonia's just so kind. Alright, now that's decided, let's get going. But Connie's wounds are still being treated. Shut up! There's no way I can just stand around. I'll go on ahead and prepare. I'll set up the parasol and prepare the drinks. I mean, uh, I mean it. I promise I'll give it my all to serve you so everyone had fun. With an abnormal amount of gusto, he bolted out of the diner. Um, Man is such a pushover. Oh look, it's me. I'm surrounded by girls in swimsuits. This is a little awkward. Uh, you... I should go help Cause too. As I mellowed my excuse, I ran out of the dire diner almost as I were escaping. Well, Veggie, Veggie wasn't stay with me. I'd stay. I mean, I want to keep Honey Honey company, you know. That's cute. Okay, so I go in here. Imagine if Veggie just decided to leave that area. <laughs> yeah, just leave. Ding dong. Huh? That bell just now. Could it be? Uh oh, honey. A body's been discovered. The sense fucking when. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Honey. 
A body? That's a lie. Impossible. Someone. I think that was you, but... Someone come here! Ugh. That was definitely Kaz's voice just now. Sounds like he's nearby. Thank you. In here? Did that scream just come from in here? Cautiously, I reached my hand towards the doorknob. As I twisted the doorknob and tried to open the door. It won't want to open? It's locked. No, this is different. It's like something's blocking the door from the other side. Uh-oh. What does this mean? Can I go around the other side? Yeah. Whoops. Okay, I'm just remembering the controls. Cause a scream. Did I really hear it coming from here? No, what am I being nervous about? There's no reason for me to be nervous. A body discovery announcement? I won't believe it. I'm not gonna believe it. There's no way I'll believe it. Who would believe something like that? As I raised my voice, I swiftly stepped inside the beach house. I won't believe it. The moment I stepped inside the beach house, those words mercilessly shattered into pieces. Uh oh. Baseball bat. Long trail, huh? No, Mihiru. Yep, she's gone. That's sad, I liked her. Me too. If this was all a dream, when did I. when did I begin dreaming? If this is reality, why is Mihiro on the floor covered in blood? I couldn't understand anything that was in front of me. I couldn't believe in anything. How can how can such a huge splatter come from being hit in the head? I still don't get it. Sin but and coconuts, see. honey. You see that? Veggie. Veggie, seriously though. Mmm, dunno. Mihiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer. Yeah, I can't talk. Photographer? Photographer? Honey? Photographer. <laughs> Honey! She had an unyielding force of personality, but she was actually very good at taking care of people. Oh man, that, that explains a lot as to why uh, Hyoko left the scene crying. Yep. And she was always straightforward. Towards us and towards herself, she was always facing forward. It was she, a girl's girl. She was that so kind she's of person. A, she was a 10 out of 10 for me and a girl's girl. Mm-hmm. Why her? Why am I here? Why? Why did this happen to her? The muscles in my face stiffened and grew hard. Darkness clouded my vision. My legs started to wobble and I instinctively placed my Wait, hand against the wall. Run. Ugh, he had so you me. Kyoko was the first person who saw this in, because mm -hmm. uh, Soda would be second and the announcement would turn on when we first noticed. Isn't it mm. like... How does the announcement work? Like, don't like three people need to see the three body? Three people got to see. And we were the third one then. So the announcement turned on when we saw it. But we didn't see her body. We were near it though. I thought it only applies if we, like, actually see the body with our eyes. I don't know. Th maybe? I'm pretty sure that's how it worked in the first game, and if that's Wait. the case, then that means there's Wait. a- th there's a third party that oh. saw her. Uh-oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. I have my mm -hmm. I have my suspicions. <laughs> Why? Well... I mean... I'm not gonna jump to conclusions, but... The fact that the fact that Akane was covered in blood at the same time as this happening is kind of suspicious. Honey. Mm-hmm. Honey. Well, well, who you suspect now? I'm not sure who to suspect, but um, I'm just gonna say the fact that Akane was covered in blood is at the same time as this body being discovered is kind of but odd. But that wouldn't mean no, hon. That's suspicious if she was hit in the head as well because she. Her, she was bleeding from the head, too. That's even more suspicious than when you put it that way. When you exactly point that dumb, out. Dumb. Uh 
Honey. I just wanted to take a drink. Honey. Why? Honey, stop drinking. Why? Well, I love drinking. Drink. <laughs> stop drinking. <laughs> Veggie, stop drinking right now. Okay, I'm done. Drink. Drink my bad apple. <laughs> <laughs> bad apple. Uh, honey, come on. Please drink my bad apple. What about good apple? Honey, drink my bad apple. Okay, sit. <laughs> you like it? Uh, I don't know. I don't really like sour things much. What do you mean you like sour things? You liar. Why do you like sour things? Uh, sometimes. Maybe sometimes. You're gonna like it, right? I mean, what other sour things exist? Gummies. Mm, I don't Mainly like gummies. Mainly candy. Yes, you do. But you always eat gummies. No, you don't. I haven't had yes, them in like do. a few years. Veggie, you were obsessed with gummies when you Well, I used to, but now I don't really like them anymore. I'm of course you see gummies. They, they, just, they just make my teeth hurt. What do you mean teeth hurt? They're literally freaking soft. I know, that's the weird part. <laughs> Veggie, why? <laughs> that's why I stopped what eating you... them, because they made my teeth hurt. Oh. Why do you teeth hurt after gummies? What? I don't know, but... Veggie, Veggie, you are the weirdest person <laughs> alive. I'm being dead ass. Weirdo, How can weirdo. You see after... How can you see through after gummies? Mm, mm -hmm. They're not bun bun. Veggie, I'm mm. gonna force you to eat gummies. No, you? no, please don't. Yeah, <laughs> I will. No. Because you like gummies. Uh -uh. I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell everyone to buy you gummies on your face. <laughs> no. Yeah. Before this, we were doing? having a great time, right? We were excited about gummies. going to the beach. We were having a lot of fun. But why? Why does something like this have to happen? Someone tell me! I obviously don't know what's going on either. Huh? Um... Um... Now's not the time to make bubbles. Hurry and get the others. Ibuki instantly left the beach house. I'm sure it took some time for everyone else to come here. They had to change and whatnot. It must have taken some time. But I didn't really know how much time had passed. My senses were numb. My emotions were also numbed. Within me, various layers were peeling off. My senses started to return around the time I realized that the others were already here. Honey, it's already suspicious as that freaking. Uh, what was his name? Uh. Wait. What's Soda's name? What, Kaz? Oh, his name is Kazuichi. Not him. Damn it, what's, what's his name? What's the name of the Yakuza man? Oh, Fuyuhiko? Yep. It's suspicious he disappeared. I mean, he's always been suspicious, though. <laughs> well, yeah, but think that, yeah, about everyone. Kyoko obviously seen this. Uh, Fuyuhiko randomly disappeared. Mm hmm. Where's Nekomaru? Since he we, was around that earlier. We don't know where Nekomaru since, is. Since, since I came, got encountered by him. They're, those so, are the only two without an alibi right now. Yeah. Well, no, because Sonia, Chiaki, and the rest were with you. Yeah. Mm. Oh, what the hell is this? Hi! What, what am I to do? The girls were standing outside the door leading to the beach. Their faces were pale with terror. For heaven's sake, what in the world is going on? With their pale faces still intact, the girls began wobbling towards the beach house until a voice stopped them. Ah, uh, hold on a sec. Those things beneath you, be careful not to step on them. Beneath? You know, the footprints in, in front of that door? There are footprints leading out of the beach house, right? That's probably an important clue. Wow, look at Honey preserving the evidence. Yep. 
So don't step on them. If you mean evident, hmm. Mark mentioned it in an announcement, right? After a senior amount of time, we hold a class trial. And what a class trial? And are you saying this is. That's right! One of you guys killed her! Killed? That's impossible! It's not like it's an accident or something. If you guys think it's an accident, that still means this death was caused by someone else's actions, right? That also counts as a legitimate murder. I mean, yeah, technically the last one was an accident, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Though yeah. such deaths fall into a gray area on this island, I will make sure it's clear to you guys. On this island, dying from sickness is basically the only death that's not considered a murder. Well, it's impossible to get sick and die on this island. Now, when Monomi takes such good care of people, Hmm, speaking of which... There it is, the silent treatment attack. This is like the number one thing that hurts me. Well, fine. I'm not gonna lose here bashing. I've decided to become one tough kid. I think the words of the kid is horrible nightmare. I'm a victim. It's all because I'm one of the Jeez, it's not my fault. Huh? Then whose fault is it, you ask? To find out, we hold the class trial. So, let's begin already. No whining, just begin already. Okay, I shall pass out the Monokuma file number two. This should start to feel familiar. Now then, do your very best to investigate. I'll see you later at the class trial. Wow. Class trial investigation. This is horrible. It's just too horrible. Then you should have stopped the murder before it occurred. Don't you have that kind of power? That I did have the power before he appeared. Even if she tried to stop it. Judy from Monokuma among the means of relationship, there's no doubt she just gets stopped herself. Yes. Monokuma took everything away. Including the majestic and the surveillance cameras. Well, you mean like that camera in the back? I mean in the back. You know the camera in the background? Oh, camera. In, in the on the left there. What left the camera? Well, you don't see that camera there, hun? Honey, what camera? In the corner. Honey, what camera? Dummy. Cornered. Dummy. In <laughs> what? Camera, honey. What? Cameraman. What camera? No! I don't want camera. Leave it down of this. Honey. What do you mean? Huh. What about the surveillance camera you're facing? Why, are the, why is that there then if he took it away? Veggie, he means like access. Oh, okay. He's slow poke. Oh, so slow. Yes, very slow. The only thing I can rely on are these, but they can only hear about three times that of a normal person. So basically, you have no idea what's happening on the island in the first place. <laughs> I'm just the worst. A barless love robin like me is the worst. Hey, now is not the time to focus on something like that. More importantly, what should we do? Hey, do we have to do it again? That cool thing. We have to do it again? I cannot believe it. My hero was killed by one of us. Yeah, I can't do this anymore. Investigating the class trial. Seriously, I'm done. Everyone feels the same, but we can't do anything else except do it. And there's no way we can just ignore the reason Mahiro was killed. Yeah, the only thing we can do is investigate. Cause we should never forgive that. 
killing is something we should never forgive. Hi, me. Stop me. <laughs> Stop me. What was that? What? Honey, Veggie really got into a role and felt sad for me. I don't know <laughs> what happened, Jester. I'm Veggie. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> you ball, I swear. Oh, ball. I swear. Honey, what were you doing? Um, you dumb dumb? I'm having fun. You having fun? Yeah. Oh, so cute. You my adorable cutie. I show you're a big cutie. Cause you're the best. Right, hon? Yeah, you're right. Very cute. The killer has their reasons. I understand that. It was the same reason for territory too. It's really all not Kuma's fault. I understand that too. But even so, we should never forgive killing. She usually has her head in the clouds, so for her to say something like that, she probably can't forgive this at all. But that's true, me too. Regardless, everyone's going to die if we don't do it. In order for us all to survive, we must do it. Then let's do this! My hero probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to reveal the truth behind her death. I understand. If everyone's doing it, I will do it too, but... but please give me a little time. Please give me the time to calm myself down a little. Also, I will go and tell the others who are here about this. You're right. If all you heard was the announcement, you wouldn't know where the murder took place. True. I shall excuse myself for now. Then, let's begin. Who could Mahiru Koizumi? Why was she killed? We gotta find out and solve this already. Mm, that's right, we have to do it. It's the only way. I don't want to do this, but that's more the reason for us to finish this. I'm the only one who can do this. First I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. Veggie finger! Veggie finger! <laughs> finger. <laughs> yes, honey. The victim, Hiro Koizumi, estimated time of death is around 3pm. The scene 3 of the crime- so one before the meetup. Hmm. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. There are no other conspicuous external injuries and no trace of foreign substances such as drugs. Round 3. That's the time Kaz and I arrived at the diner. Then if we'd just gone to the beach house instead... No, that's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind the hero's death. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. Yay, bullet! I mean, it's interesting how much blood you can get that from the freaking head still. Because I saw a legit real video of a girl falling off the stairs and she hit her head and the trace she left was a bit much. <laughs> mm, damn, that's violent. Yeah. I was literally speechless. You know, I saw the original video posted by her friend actually. Mm. When the, the freaking scene of her death. I don't know. I was so scared. Why would they and post then, some shit like that? I, it was everywhere now. But, uh. What, what's her name? Pavlona or something? Basically, she was like dancing around and singing some kind of Russian uh, romance song. I know that song. And she, you know, she was dancing and stuff, but uh, there was there is this like subway entrance and you know, stairs. And for some reason, the freaking ledge had no freaking like barricade or anything, you know? Like it was just out in the open. So she just trips over the ledge and fell off. Hmm. Sadly, she died. That Sadly. is pretty sad. Yeah. So basically, the freaking uh, 
I saw her last moments in this video of her dancing around and singing a romance song and literally and in Russian and literally said how she will love for the last time. <laughs> That's just deep and scary. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I always wondered why you bleed so much from the head. I seriously don't know. I'm mm -hmm. seriously wondering. I mean, what I do know is that when you, um, you know, lay upside down, all the blood rushes to your head. So maybe that could be why. Yeah, but when you hit your head, you know, like her, for example, that mm. didn't last long. It's possible. How, how it's possible that, you know, falling like that causes all the blood to rush to your head anyways. I'm not too sure. No. That's the only thing that would make sense to me. No. It, that would mean she would be like, needs to be like, s s falling straight down. Like, head down. I don't know. But she could, you know, be like, tilting back with her head, you know? You I'm know not too I mean? sure. <laughs> Honey, you know what I mean? I think so. Imagine you're lying. Like right now, right? Mm -hmm. If you fall, the weight, for example, you will lean back. Down with your head, you know? Mm hmm. That wouldn't mean that the freaking blood, you know, will go to your head. I don't know. I, I, I have to read on that why, why you play so much on the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. But hey, if you think of it mm. this way, think of a person like, uh, like one of those yogurt tubes, you know? Obviously all the yogurt will come out of the top of the yogurt tube. <laughs> no. It depends where you press it. Well... If you squeeze it, of course all the yogurt is going to come out of one place. Since it's at the very end. Oh, I, th I thought you meant the other end, like <laughs> the top. No. <laughs> oh. Because if you, you know, put enough pressure, it will explode from the top. Well, there's only one way for the yogurt to come out, and that's the top. And obviously... You mean end. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, we have two <laughs> completely different definitions. Oh. Because I treat the end differently. And, and you treat the beginning differently. That's weird. I don't know, I'd have to read them all. Yeah, read about it. Oh, this is... this is suspicious, I think. Did you find some kind of clue? You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh, that. Hajime and Katsuichi's uh, footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. But these footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Well, easy. We just compare whoever's like footprints those are. Probably Hyoko's. Oh yeah, maybe. Now you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did? At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open, so... I went around and tried to go in from the beachside door. You couldn't go inside from the roadside door, because Mihiro's body was blocking it, right? Uh, and that's when I noticed those footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel looked like they belonged to one person. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house, huh? That's definitely sus. Now you mention it, Peiko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be... Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach, 
I do not know anything about this beach. Is that really true? But these footprints that stretch from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? It's no mistake that these are the killer's footprints, but I have no clue who that might be. Uh, well for now, it's obvious that this is a clue, don't you think? Mm, it's probably an extremely important clue. Yeah, bullet. Why is no one talking about Hyoko? <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. I will never forgive killing him. Jackie seems quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about him. Hmm, it's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone will forgive something like this. I guess you're right. <laughs> they seem more offended about Mihiro's death than, uh, you know, Byakuya's, though. <laughs> because Byaki was freaking irrelevant in the most part. Yeah, I guess you're right. Mihiro was a team player, really. Hmm, that's weird. What do you mean? Well, I wanted to calm myself always... a little, so I thought about getting I... a drink from the fridge. Um, huh? I'll be back. Okay. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Well, guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? What are you talking about? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own, so just drop it. What the heck, you started it. That's a lot of things to fucking examine. Hold on, um... I'll I open the menu again. I wanna check on my pet. I don't think- I haven't checked on my pet in a while. Yeah. Okay, um... Let's clean. I mean, my, my pet looks like it's doing pretty good. Hmm. Do I have anything I can give it? Sunflower seeds I'm saving. Jewelry. Toy camera. Aw, oh, man, I can't give Mahiro the toy camera now. Damn it. Well... That sucks. All right, you can have the you can have the camera then. Yeah, here we go. Hope meters up. Well, guess uh, guess I have some good use out of that camera now. I think that's probably the saddest part about all this is that I can't even use that camera on her now. Hmm. Alright, so... Where is everybody? Okay, so Connie's outside, and everybody else is inside. Hmm. I know something else suspicious, actually. Oh. Okay. Hi, hon. You good, honey? On. Hmm. Wifey is, uh, is not working. Wifey. What? Oh, there you are. What? <laughs> Wasn't working for some reason. I know. Did he say something? I miss a bit. Mm, no, I was talking to Kaz, so you didn't miss anything. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was dealt to Mihiro with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Hmm? This metal bat? It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome Mario case. Oh, hey, thank god we don't have an ultimate, uh, baseball person in this game. <laughs> <laughs> in this game. Yeah. Huh? There is a girl named Girl E who was killed in the game during the fourth day. Ah yes, my favorite character, Girl E. Uh, 
That girl was killed with that blow from a metal bat, just like my crew. I think what's, she was in the same. I think what's really weird about this is the fact that it's like a live action still. I know, it's kind of creepy. Yeah, it is really creepy. Did you... Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about that metal bat? I mean, I wouldn't have made that connection unless she brought it up again, because I completely forgot about that. Yeah, that's exactly it, but did you play it too? I mean, obviously. I'm sure you know this, but... This, the case this time is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve the mystery behind Machu's death, we probably need to solve the game's mysteries too. We need to solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. You're lousy and useless, how do you mean? <laughs> Got him. I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Beaten? I finished the game with the game over. Were you able to beat it? Mm, I'm, a, I'm not a song girl gamer. He talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? I can't stop thinking about that for some reason. <laughs> Honey pout. <laughs> yeah. But for now, I should focus on the investigation. So, it's okay to say that this metal bat's absolutely the murder weapon, right? Yeah, it's a bullet, so clearly. Alright, uh, what about the fridge? There's a lot of drinks inside, but... Compared to the last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? Not only that, but... The only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. You know, like most soda. You're, you're unhealthy, hon. Wow. What do you want? Why am I unhealthy? Because veggie's dumb. And veggie drinks uh, dumb stuff. Like what? Uh... Sugary coffee and sugary orange juice. Mm, I don't know if it's sugary. That is, it is sugary. Very I'll, mid. I'll check. Veggie, come on. Okay. Matthew probably wants us to do this too. She would want us to try reveal the truth behind her death. But what she really wanted. Well, we wanted to spend time with all of us peacefully without something like this happening. Yeah, exactly. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's just a shell. Is this really the energetic Mihiro I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I still can't believe it. I still connect- I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mihiro. But we don't have time to wallow in this sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slap both my hands on my cheeks and face of Hira's body one more time. And Hira's leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned on the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mihiro tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door. Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So, she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have felt really desperate. Update. Okay, we also have this weird mask. Huh? What's this? Is this a mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section of the supermarket? The toy section! Or maybe party goods. Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. I, I, saw, I thought it said goofy mask. And goofy mask? <laughs> a gaudy mask? A goofy mask? <laughs> ah, a mask. You seen this? Sandwich, the uh, freaking high note, uh, Esperito. 
Yes, super fun anime with a viewership surpassing 90% in my country. An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? <laughs> no. Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah, it was. If that is true, could it be? Could it be what? Um, please give me some time. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? To the library. Ah. Oh. It looks like she knows something. If that's the case, I shall wait until she decides to talk about it. Hmm. Your Sonya be so worked up, it must be something big. I wonder what she knows. I don't know, but we got a bullet. Pretty anime girl mask. <laughs> Maku, 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 Maku. This is too weird. Something this way shouldn't only happen in song lyrics. Okay, so she's not very helpful. Alright, um... Can I go in the closet? Yeah, because it's open. The closet door is half open. Last time I came here, that wasn't the case. That's a little sus. I should probably investigate inside here, too. Oh, new area. Okay, there's a lot of stuff in this room. This is a pretty spacious walk-in closet. There's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person can stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Um... Okay, the, it's just like... shelves. Nothing in particular. Flo flotation devices, snorkels, nets... There's also some paint supplies. Not much else that could be related to the incident. Okay, what about this one? There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards in a surfboard case. But, they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed on the one shelf, and some boards have been left out and instead of being put in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard case as well. Jeez, how careless. Uh, What else can I examine? Oh, gummy? Honey, your gummies are in that's here? The, that's your favorite gummy, hon. God damn it. <laughs> Reggie, I know you like Star Wars stuff. I'm gonna buy you a, 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 10 packs of gummies on your birthday. <laughs> I hope you like it, hon. Especially uh, extra sour flavor. I'm gonna remember it, hon. I'm gonna buy it for you. You're gonna be really happy. Well, you're I'm cute. gonna tell everyone. I'm gonna tell everyone that you love gummies very much, especially sour flavors. So one day, won't stop buying you extra sour gummies. I like you're gummy. I like gummy worms. You gonna be happy? Yeah. But hmm. gee, I don't think you There's something on the happy. floor. This Reggie. yellow thing is a gummy candy. Reggie. Wow. You don't seem very happy. No, I am. Really? Yeah. You kept saying like, God damn it. God <laughs> damn it. I'm, I'm just messing. <laughs> Finding candy know, on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? Uh, well, I can only think of one person that'd be eating gummies. Yellow gummy has been added. I think it's Veggie. Veggie, Veggie was in this closet. Damn it, I should have known. Yeah. I guess that's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. Yeah, examine the gummy again. Veggie, I know you love gummy. Very much. <laughs> oh, come on. Hey, I gotta level up for examining it a second time. Uh, okay, is there anything else I can examine? The door. Honey, the door. What, Honey, this door? door? Yeah. Shower room. Shower room. There's a notice. Judging from the illustration, looks like it's being repaired or under construction. That's right, the shower's being repaired. The so water won't come out. Well, what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too. If the shower's out of order, then isn't it just a waste of space? I'm sorry. Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken from me. 
Hope we'll never go around to fixing it. The heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? Anyway, it's all Monica's fault. Everything is Monica's fault. Oh, uh, you're doubtful. Are you sorry telling me you think my Monica's a compass? You must have read my mind. You think of what you want from me. I've already given up. But let me tell you this one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of whisper. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh well. Anyway, it looks like the shower is out of definitely out of order. Guess I should check the inside too. We weren't in the side of the shower room, not even once. Hmm. What else can I Honey, examine? try to go inside. Oh, the trash can. Honey. Okay, I will inside. after. There's maybe there's a clue inside the trash. That's what I thought, but there's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't think anything looks like a clue. Guess it's not that easy, huh? Honey, is, you know this is only water bottles. Weird. That's already suspicious. I guess I might as well check the inside of the shower room. Um, what is she doing in here? <laughs> this is a really nice, really spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could also use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Geez, what an unreasonable rule. Uh, well first off, what are you doing in here? Hmm, guess no one can see it. In here. I was thinking Killer was hiding here after they failed to escape. Oh, okay, that's more understandable. Wouldn't be that easy. Um, window? There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow. Well, probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. However, the ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high that even if I stretch out my hand, I can't reach it. It's probably about 9 feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window, if that's the case. Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through here. Ah, oh, right, I got it. I'll put you in and help you out. Huh? Well... Give me a piggyback ride, I'll check the window for ya. Pitch in and help? Feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. If you have to hurry up, I'll punch ya. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. Don't worry, my pant pants are clean. I see, that that's good. Veggie, Veggie, why are you studying? <laughs> you're, you're the purpose now, I'm telling you. I let out a deep sigh and then bent over under the window. Alright. Well, it's more like uh, I didn't need to know that. <laughs> As she shouted, okay. Akane jumped onto my shoulders. Ugh. Ugh. Veggie. Reggie, enough with the noises. <laughs> I don't know what else noise okay. I'm supposed to make. Reggie. Hmm? Reggie. What? Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. You don't want to see how I look right now. <laughs> uh, you probably look cute. No. Okay, maybe because I'm smiling. Hmm. Oh, what? Oh, what? Hol wholesome bun. Oh, what's Veggie's face? Mmm, me smile too. Oh, you're so cute. Yay. I want to hug you. Oh, uh, huggies. Huggy, my love, my beloved face. Oh, my beloved honey. You're so adorable. Mm -hmm. Yay. Hey, your balance sucks. Make sure your stance is wider. You're a lot heavier than I expected. Well, she has muscles. What are you expecting? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's stupid. Honey, I'm very light still. <laughs> bun bun, you, bun bun's like a feather. Would you be able to carry me though? Yeah. Really? Did mm -hmm. you even lift anything remotely close to my weight? Nope, but I'll try. 
But Han, maybe you should go to the gym and wait so carry something like that. We'll see. Okay. Oh, will you though? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm leaving. Um, what's, what's you gonna happen? Hmm? I'll let you know. AKA... Mm, Veggie. Not sure, but we'll see. Like, Veggie, you have less than a year to prepare. Mm, I know. So... <laughs> We'll see. I mean, you'll see. Please chew up. Come on. Yeah, hon. Okay. Yeah, because I'm so buff. Like, every time I get a massage, it's um, I'm just a mass of muscles. Massage, huh? You have a trainer or something since you're the ultimate gymnast? Nah, I don't have a trainer. My stepmom's lovers like to get drunk and give me a full body massage. I shouldn't have asked. Why, so how's why the is window? He so why is he so careless? I'm like, ugh, oh, I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> why is he so mean? Yeah, you know, it's, you're, you're learning things. Exactly. Let's see. Hmm. I see, I see. So that's what happened. Did you find anything? Well, since there's this iron bar. I was pretty sure no one would be able to get through the window. So check it out. Check it out? Hold on, I'll give it a try. With Connie on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry. Oh, look at that. The, this iron bar ain't even pinned down. Looks like you can open and close it pretty easy. See? My head can fit through, no problem. Then it's not impossible to go in and out of that window. Yep, yep. Connie jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin. Isn't that a big discovery? But the problem is, how are they able to reach that window? Mmm, I don't know, maybe they found a ladder somewhere. Veggie, I knew all you were going to say that. It's <laughs> the most base freaking dumb vegetable I've ever heard. And what would they do with that lugger, huh? You use it to climb out the window? <laughs> yes, but do you see a ladder in the bathroom? No. So, how would they use a ladder? Um... Hmm, not sure. Honey... What? What would they do with the ladder? I don't know, I'm just making up shit. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, conclusions. You're stupid. Ah. What? Sorry. No, you're not supposed to be sorry. What's wrong? But I am dumb. No, you're not. You're mm, silly. Okay. Yay. And I appreciate your ideas. I appreciate you too. Very cute. Yay. Honey. Oh, uh, what? Read it. Oh, yeah. Problem is, how are they even able to reach that window? Mm, even if I jump, I can't really reach it. But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Accomplice? Sound like a big word. Is that the name of a kung fu master? But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the steps to would still be inside. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Oh, really? Yeah, like. Freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fence and walls, no problem, right? Um, maybe we should think more realistically here? Hmm, just as I thought. It looks difficult to go in and out of that, through that window. What the heck? And I even took the time to lend you my wisdom? You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took the peace time and to pitch and not help. Ugh, was such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. No, I didn't. Oh well. I don't like it in the, in the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at them. But we did find out about the window. 
This is pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. Guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why my hero got killed. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Metal bat. That's the same weapon that was used to kill Mihiru. That. There's no way that's just a coincidence, right? A missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time, then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person you might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Yeah, honey, obviously. I should yeah. ask her about it. Bullet. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, honey, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? Honey, you okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Are you done investigating Kiro Reggie? Hmm? I think I've been finished investigating once through. Then let's go. Go? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should have already played yourself. So, let's go. Yeah, you're right. With Honey leading, I left the beach house and headed over to Jabberwock Park, where that unsettling arcade machine was placed. But I never expected that person to be waiting there. Oh, there's a fucking Yakuza man again. Where are you, Hugo? Oh! oh. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? It's, it's your favorite guy, hun. Why, hello there, Hajime and Chiaki. I'm glad you guys are doing well. Nagito? Feels like it's been a long time since I was able to talk to you two like this. Even though we haven't spoken for just a few days. Alright, I remember she was told that my hero was doing this movie. Now she can do that. Hmm. See, she was useful. <laughs> told you. Yeah. Why are you here? Well, there's no need to worry about a loser like me. More importantly, did you hear? Apparently, Mihiro got killed this time. Jeez, how horrible. She was the heart of our group, always spirited and very eager to talk. For her to be killed? If only I could have taken her place, I would have gladly done it. But still, you guys will be able to shine because this outcome swelled despair, right? That's right. No matter how dark the despair, hope can shine much brighter and stronger. <laughs> Though, I do feel bad for me, Hero. This is quite exciting. How everyone overcome despair this time. It's like, he's a freaking narrator of this game. <laughs> he just comments on the situation himself. Thank you. Bro, bro self-inserting himself. Exactly. That's why I love him. <laughs> He could, he could just he he could he could you could just be playing like a random ass game and then suddenly Nagito shows up and starts adding his own commentary. <laughs> oh, I love everyone loves Nagito. Do you like Nagito? Oh yeah, he's fun. He is. Looks like you feel no remorse. <laughs> Jeez, as usual. He's acting so crazy. He's almost pissing me off. Yeah, he's not pissing me off. I'm having a fun time. I mean, he said almost. Almost. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even close to being pissed off. So, why are you here? Who told you about Mihiru? You don't have to make that scary face. I'll tell you, you know. Monami. Yes, it was me. You? Why did you untie Nagito without anyone's permission? Did I do pass? I just want everyone to feel along and, you know, cooperate. There's no way we'll get along. You already know what kind of guy he is. Well, if I think my friends is what Mokuma wants you guys to do. Hajime, you should forgive her. Monami's making a valid point, too. You have no right to say that. But now's not the time for friends to fight. There's gonna be a class oh trial God. for Mihiru, right? <laughs> That's 
That's right. That's why everyone must work together and have money people. Enough. Enough already. Just go away already. Oh, they're so good. Nagito. Wait, wrong voice. <laughs> Nagito, you too. Hurry up and get lost. Well, I'm a little lonely, but I guess I'll do that. I already saw the true ending of that game, so there's really no reason for me to be here. True ending? So, although I might be a little late, I too will do some investigating for a while. I'll try to be useful in my own way. Who do you want to be useful to? The killer or us? Real. Isn't it obvious? I will always be on the side of hope. The more I talk to him, the creepier he gets. The more I listen to him, the more I don't understand him. He's on Team Hope. He's very, very, uh... He's kind of like the... He kind of just plays both sides whenever he feels like it. Yep. If he didn't exist, this situation would be a lot fucking easier to deal with. Damn it. He's neutral evil. <laughs> yeah. Neutral, chaotic, or whatever it's called. Chaotic neutral? But he's like... You know... Like... Bad... Good evil? Or... Chaotic? Good chaotic, evil? chaotic good? <laughs> yeah. Bad. How'd you make? Let's just move on and start the game. You're right. Yeah, and hopefully I don't get stuck in the game again, because that was annoying. Hey, can I ask you something? Is there a walkthrough for this game? Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just gonna repeat the second and fourth day again and get a game over. So if there's a walkthrough, can you tell me about it? Oh yeah, get a game over. That's the walkthrough. Oh, what do you mean? Do you want me to tell you? I'll tell you if you want. There's a hidden command. A hidden command? You should have seen it too. You know, that thing that was displayed on the game over screen. Is that...? Are you talking about the message that says down 5? Just so you know, that doesn't mean you down 5 drinks or something. <laughs> It means you have to press down five times. Then the hidden command is... Just has to press the down mountain five times when you're on the title screen. Oh, happy, hun. Yeah, that's my face when I see you. Oh, so cute. If you do that, you should be able to go to the real game. So that's the trick. Just expected of the ultimate gamer. It doesn't have anything to do with being a gamer. This is just you either get it or you don't. AKA common sense, AKA something that made you look good. Damn wow. it. Really damn it. I don't have common sense. You don't. Beji eats too much too many gummies and got his brain <laughs> game rotted. Frickin' gummies rotted. again. Beji, why are you so obsessed with gummies? I know you love your sugar sugary sweet sour. The gummies will come on. Hmm, I don't know. Your, your brain melted and turned into a gummy. No! Yes, that's why your name is Gummy. Gummy, Gummy. Exactly, hum. That's why I'm gonna call you Gummy from today. <laughs> gummy? Hey, Gummy. Hey, well, Gummy. Well, that's cute. <laughs> oh, if you like it now. Mm hmm. Very cute. Yeah, because I've always I've always liked the word um I always liked the word dummy, so gummy is cute too. Because it rhymes. Very cute. Yay. In fact Nagito got in on on his own, so it looks like he managed to beat the game. Come on, give it a try. Yeah, I got it. Monokuma Inc. I need to press down five times on the title screen. Alright, let's do this. Open the door to the trial senior murder case. Do I just do it right here? 
No. Please print down five times with your own hands. Oh, truth edition. The screen changed. She was right. This is a real game. Twilight Syndrome or this case, truth edition. At least I didn't have to pay 50 bucks for the expansion pack. <laughs> real. I should start it up. I need to find out why this is a motive. It'll start if I press start, right? Well then, let's be here. Something, something. This game. We saw that I already. I press and start. We have one with a specific murder case, a tragic killing that occurred within the grounds of the academy that the girls attended. Based on their understanding of the crime scene, the police proved that the incident was the work of a pervert who snuck into the school grounds. However, there was a secret behind the incident. Even before the janitor put his own body, there were students who witnessed the crime itself. Students were five high school girls. They didn't want to get involved in that incident, so they tried to hide the fact that they were the first to discover. However, tragedy quickly fell those girls. Several days after the incident, and then one of the group, five girls grew up easily murdered by someone. What in the world happened at this one's peaceful academy? By playing the missing Thursday and Thursday, you will be able to learn the mystery. All the answers you seek are hidden in the truth of this, you will be able to reach the truth. Now then, let's start with the first thing, when it all began. <laughs> Sorry, honey, I know that was really fast. <laughs> You're welcome. Yay. I pat, can read fast. Yay. Mm. Veggie could never. Even though, even though I normally talk very slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you happen, that's even more impressive, Munchkin. Yeah. I I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry for keeping you all waiting. Jeez, I gotta go home late because we had to wait for Slowpoke Girl A. Eh? Oh, Slowpoke mentioned. That's Veggie. Yay. Hey. Did you stop speaking? Come on, girl B. You don't have to be that mad. I'm gonna take some medication. We medication. My uh, my right arm is pretty sore. Did you? What do you mean some medication on your sore right arm? I don't what know. What are you doing? I don't know. My, my I don't know. My right arm hurts for some reason, so I'm gonna take some painkillers. Did you? What do you mean, medication for an arm? Are you stupid? No, no, no I'm, just, I'm just taking painkillers. Don't mind me. Veggie, you're stupid. I won't mind you. Why are you stuttering now? You're that flustered? Mm hmm. Why? Mm. Why? Ball. 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 A. What? Ball. Why so silent? I was taking my meds. But you're so slow, you should have done it faster. Don't rush me, I'm trying to take my meds. I will, I will rush you. Hmm, okay. I mean, mm, okay. Love you anyway. Love you too. You can take your time. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, don't go taking photos without permission. You my mistake for good friends. I'm not your friend? What? There is no way I'd ever be friends with a nasty trashy pig shit like you. <laughs> the way girl P treats people, even loan sharks looking to collect wood to get sick up to their stomachs. Huh? Is Gully here yet? Uh, apparently she forgot something. She told us to wait just a little longer. She can find her school swimsuit. Mmm, swimsuit. Her swimsuit? Huh? Maybe it got stolen? It's stolen? You don't know. A pervert has been spotted in the area recently. Hehe. <laughs> You should be super careful, girlie. Chubby weakly like you makes the perfect prey. Hey, stop it. Girls A is getting really scared. <laughs> it's fun to bully girl A. 
What was that sound? It sounded like a lost breaking. It sounded like it came from the second floor. Let's go. Mm hmm. Alright, let's try and go up to the second floor this time. <laughs> Girl, Eve, what happened? I, I don't know, I walked by the front of the music room just now. And then I suddenly heard the sound of glass breaking. Is someone in there? That's what I think, but I think the door is locked. I can't get it open. You're right, it's locked. Did someone lock it from the inside? Is someone really in there? Um, if we use a key from the teacher's lounge, we can open this door, right? I'll go to the teacher's lounge and get the keys to the music room. The tears are probably gone by now, so I'm sure we can bring the key over in secret. But I have a bad feeling about this. I found the key. Nobody was there, so it was super easy to get. Then let's open it right away! Creek. Okay. Girl, I, you lead the way. Huh? Me? Come on, hurry, hurry. That's a lot of clattering. Well, we got a piano here. Oh, and uh, a body. Someone's lying on the floor. This... she's not laying down. She's dead. Dead? That's impossible, why? Yeah! No, oh, your voice, they might still be nearby. Nearby? I mean, this looks like someone murdered her. Murder, huh? Seriously, shut up. What's gonna happen if the killer notices us? I noticed that little bar on the top has turned red. <laughs> it was That's probably the stress meter. Yeah. Stress meter. Because it went from blue to yellow and now red. I know. Neat little detail. Well, what should we do? What should I do? Why, why did it lock? Okay, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see, so that's what happened. I found it. The killer's escape route. Escape route? Could it be? What, the glass over here? The window. Ah, uh, the window's broken. Sound we heard from the entrance hall. It's probably the window breaking. Someone probably locked the music to room door from the inside and after killing this girl. They broke the window and skipped outside. It's like she got hit by something when she died. I can't see if I find anything bloody here. What happened to the weapon? Did the killer take it? So the killer just ran out the window? But if they just wanted to run away. They could have opened the window. Why do they have to break it? They were probably trying to leave in a hurry. Look, there's evidence. The fish tank by windows tripped over and all the grave was scattered. They must have accidentally tipped it over when they 
I was fan frantically trying to get away. Oh. Broken fish tank. <laughs> Wait, that's added to my section? My, my handbook? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Not too high to jump on the second floor. And maybe they thought it'd be safer than using the hallway. But is that really it? I mean, to lock the door, you have to either lock it from the inside of the music room or use the launch key. Oh, what if I went to the music room key and it was in the teacher's one? So I couldn't want to have had time to return a key before I broke the window. Then the score could have been locked from the inside, that means the killer was inside the music room. Also, to get outside from the music room, they need to have passed by us in the entrance hall. But we didn't see anyone pass by. Me and the clear only escape route was this window. Yeah, window. It's probably that pervert I've heard about. He's the one who snuck inside the school grounds. Huh? My school friend was stolen, I couldn't find it anywhere. Then the perfect was stolen for a sea school swimsuit. Also murdered that girl over there. They probably locked the music room so they could rape her, but she ended up resisting. And so they frantically tried to get away, broke the window and escaped. Okay, swimsuit. Is it bad if we stay here much longer? I mean, I don't want to get involved in something like this, and the killer might still be around too. That's bad, all the very bad. We better hurry up and run. What do we have to report this to the police? Don't you know what happens when you report this kind of stuff to the police? You become the first suspect. Back when just because you found body first, they definitely don't want that. Yeah, it'd be best if we would left this room how we found it. Just lock the door and leave everything how it was. Seems pretty irresponsible. Uh, hey, please wait, don't leave me. And the third day. Girl D! Sorry, did I make you wait? So what's up? You asked me to meet here, don't tell me you're gonna confess your love to me. Huh? What happened? Um, I want you to look at this photo. Oh. On the day of the incident, I found this when I peeked into the next door classroom. I was going home. I couldn't help but take a picture. What is that? What do you think these broken vase pieces mean? That sound we heard from the entry hall wasn't the sound of window breaking. What is this? I don't, I don't know anything about this vase. If that's the case, the killer didn't escape from the window. Seriously, I don't know anything. It's okay, I made sure to throw it away. Huh? If I didn't find that, you'd be in trouble, right, girly? Are you trying to blackmail me? Of course not, that's not what this is about. There is something you're holding from me, I want you to say it. I mean, we're friends, right? You, you didn't say anything either. I knew you know. I knew that girl who got killed was taunting you. Huh? No, she wasn't just taunting you. She was seriously making your life and living in hell. That bitch was in your photographic club back in middle school, right? She was probably jealous of your talent, so she... Hmm... Photography. It's all coming together. I'm supposed to be your best friend. If you told me, none of this would have happened. 
Billy, do don't tell me you. That bitch true she could do anything she want to because of her family's influence. I just couldn't stand it anymore. You know, at first I tried to talk to her. But that bitch started talking shit about how she targeted me next time, so... I felt so enraged, and before I knew, I was choking her. And then she lost consciousness, but things would have been worse if she woke up, so... That's why I had to do something about it. That's... It's not my fault, or yours. It's all her fault. Uh, Gully! What's that? That... Oh, wait, that's, that's you. Oh, that's me. Guy F! Never seen this one before. That bitch. Girl E, was it? Word is she was with her on the day of the incident. <laughs> Guy F. Looks like she threw something away here. What was it? What the hell is this photo? This vase is... Could it be the sound of breaking glass? Was actually this... If it wasn't, why did she try to secretly get rid of this? That bitch. What the hell did she do to my little sister? Looks like I need to ask her a few questions. And if that bitch really did that... I'll never... I'll never forgive her. Wow, you beat my game! Good job! So you understand? The full uh, story? Well, I understand the whole I'll never forgive her thing now. <laughs> but hopefully they'll recap it a little bit so they can piece well, it I together. Well, I can recap it. Yeah, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. Looks like this is the end. That's the truth edition death. It's the first day on Thursday are the... Pictures in it. Yep, now you're filled in all the four events from the first day to the fourth day. Hey honey, what do you think of the characters in this game? You mean like Girl A and Girl B? Their names make no sense and they have no romantic chemistry either. No, not that. When you were talking, it looks like the link staff roll started. Staff roll? You should be able to find out what you want to know if you want to look at it properly. What I want to know is on the staff roll? The producer, Monokuma. Director, Monokuma. Supervisor, Monokuma. Plan scenario, Monokuma. Programmer, Monokuma. Graphics, Monokuma. Sound, Monokuma. Cast, Sumiki, Koizumi, Hyoko, Miyota, Sato, Kuzuryu, Kuzuryu. Why is he- why is Kuzuri- why is Kuzuri mm. on there twice? <laughs> exactly. Producer Supreme, Monokuma. Wait, just now. So you didn't tell you really, what you want to know is going to be on Yay! Congrats! Miracle! Congratulations! You finally beaten Twilight Syndrome murder case! Now that you guys have played this game through the end, you should already know! That's right! That game is a non-fiction game based on an actual past instant! Is that true? By the way, non-fiction means an original story based on historical fact or records! Hey, answer my question! But, even if this is non-fiction, you guys probably don't remember it! Well, that can't be helped! The school life you no longer remember is the setting for this story. Our school life? At any rate, congratulations! Now then, as for the ending prize that I'm supposed to give you as a reward for clearing the game, I won't give it to you. Ending prize? There is only one ending prize, and I already gave it to the first person who beat it. <laughs> How disappointing. Wow. Did you say ending prize? I was told the same thing when I beat it too. Man, it was too late. If I know something like this was gonna happen, I would have played the game sooner. It was probably fucking now you tell he probably fucking beat it first. <laughs> yeah. Ending prize been added. 
But the ending prize isn't the problem, it's what Monokuma said earlier. He mentioned how he used our school life as the setting of the game. Just as I thought. So it's connected to that this time, too. But is it really? Is this really true? Were we already living our school lives, and our memories were completely taken? Is something that crazy actually possible? Then what did they do to us? It looks like there's something on your mind. Huh? Makuma probably said the same thing to everyone else who's been in this game. Now, this game is non-fiction. And it's the missing link that exists in our forgotten school memories. So, do you believe it? Do you really believe our memories are taken? I don't know, but instead of thinking about it right now, we gotta focus on following this mystery first. But we believe it's the motive or not, it's clear that a murder did occur. If that's the case, then I need to question them directly. If I do that, I might be able to learn something. We're talking about the people whose characters appear in the game, right? Now, they too. That's right, if I get information from them, I might find out about something. Well, the mystery behind me here is death, but whether this game is true or not. And if we really had our school memories taken away. Hey, let's hurry and ask the others. And while you're at it, ask them how it feels to be characters in the game. <clears throat> ah, also, if you want to gather your thoughts about the content of the game, talk to me anytime. I see, thanks, that's a huge help. I don't know where they are right now, but we won't learn anything, we just stand here. Alright, let's go. Why, hello there, oh, Hajime and Chiaki. We meet again. Akito jump scare. <laughs> <laughs> I kind the, the of jumped. The timing's too perfect. You were waiting here, I... weren't you? Ah, so you caught me. Would it be best if we traveled together? If you'd be in the game, we must think similarly, right? No, maybe I'm being a little too conceited. A guy like me thinking similar to you guys? It's okay, just make your point. There was an airport on the first island, right? I told them to meet up there. Them? Why, the characters who appeared in Twilight Syndrome murder case, of course. The girls must be busy with their investigations, too. It'd be a waste of time if we both questioned them, no? If you want to hear what they have to say, you should come with me. I'll go on ahead and wait for you guys. What should we do? Honey. Mm, I guess the only thing we can do is go. I guess you're right. Mm, well, honestly, I think this is a uh, pretty good place to end the episode. Edgy you sleepy. <laughs> yeah. What, really? You're sleepy? A little, yeah. Dum dum. Anyways, everybody, Gummy. thank you for Gummy. watching. Gummy. Dang and Rafa 2 with the Gummy. one piece. Gummy. Oh, what's up, pumpkin? Gummy. Yay. Hi. Yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to me on to YouTube veggie. and Twitch. Yeah, to, to veggie. veggie. Make sure to check out Cinnabon at Kofo on Instagram. And we will see everybody in the next episode of DR2, where we finish up the investigation. So, uh... Honey, this is gonna be a very bad thing, because we're gonna finish the investigation and do half the trial again. Hey, I mean, if we do half the trial, then we can, you know, finish off the other half, and then the episode after that. Oh my goodness. I, th I think it'd be, uh... Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, uh, bye! Bye!